Hello, hi there. Um, today we'll be looking at ways that we can go ahead and submit our assignments um, from the Google Classroom platform. So um, today we'll look at example of the class seven um, Google Classroom. So we'll just go ahead and click on this particular icon and it will open up for you this particular page. So you'll end up being on the stream page. Now there's three pages that you can you can choose to work from. There's a stream, there's a classwork, and then there's a people, each representing a different side of the class. But today we'll just go ahead and look at the stream part of the class. So um, you can see here upcoming today, due today is CRE, due tomorrow is the science assignment. So this particular column shows what, you know, how, how your work is planned out for you by the class teachers or by the subject teachers of your particular um, class. So we'll go ahead and just click on, on, the, first, uh, on the first bit and you can see um, Google goes ahead and even um, kind of um, gives you, gives you um, hints of how to go about it. So I just click next and um, you know, got it. So um, you can see that this is a file attached for the class seven homework. You can just go ahead and click on it and once uh, once you, you click on it, you see the different um, the different questions, right? And if you how you actually take this document or how you download it is, are you seeing um, at the top right of the screen you you have the more actions button, yeah? So you click on more actions and then you click on open in new window. Once you open in new window, now this is where the solution can take can take um, different you know different different turns, okay? So um, I'll go ahead and say, um, we'll take one solution and then we'll also explore the other solution. Now one solution lies when we go ahead and we download this particular, you know, this particular assignment. And once we download, you'll see it pop up at the bottom of, of uh, your browser. But now this depends, I'm currently using the Google Chrome browser. Um, but you know, depending on whatever browser you'll be using, you'll be able to actually go ahead and see what, where the document has been downloaded from. So I'll go ahead and open it. So you go ahead and see that um, it, it will open it up and um, you will go ahead and say enable editing. And you know, you can just now at this point forward, you can you can just go ahead and now fill in the answers. Um, water pollutants are also known as, you know, um, I'm not gonna, this, this is an example, so I'm not gonna give you right answers. And once that is done, make sure you, you save, you actually save the, the particular document. I'd advise you to go, go ahead and save it with your name in it. So for example, the document came as class seven homework. So you can just click on that and just add it at the very beginning, Kingsley class seven homework, all right? And you click save. So once that's saved, you'll see the name, the name change appearing at the top. You can go ahead and, um, close this particular document and go back to now the assignment page. So at the assignment page, you have to make sure you, you, you're you seeing this particular video, your work and what, and it's the fact that it has been assigned to you. So you'll click add or create. And guys, what you'll go ahead and do is that you click on file. Now, once you click on file, it asks you to either drag your files here or select from your device. So you can you can do both. When you say um, drag from files, you just have to remember now where where you went ahead and um, where you went ahead and saved it. So I remember I saved it in the downloads. Yeah. I'll click open, and once I open, I'll confirm that this is actually the the proper um, the proper assignment that I have done and completed, and then click upload. Once I upload, I just have to wait for it to get to 100%. And then once it's done, you have to make sure, and, and that's where the Google prompt comes in also. When you're ready to submit all of your files for this assignment, remember to turn it in. So I'll say, got it, and I'll click turn in. It'll give me a prompt for, you know, just, um, you know, getting me to confirm that this is actually the document. I'll go ahead and confirm and say turn in. So once, the doc, once, the, once your assignment has actually, once you've turned in your assignment, you'll see it shift from assigned to turn in, all right? All right, so um, now we can go ahead and look at the other option. So in case you ever want to, if you go through your work and you see that this is actually not what I wanted to do or 
you know, before before you actually your timeline comes to an end, you can go ahead and click unsubmit. So once you unsubmit, um, you know, to add or change attachments, you don't forget to resubmit once you're done. All right. Meaning, if you unsubmit, you completely remove your attachment. Right. So I've unsubmitted. Now all that's left is to remove that particular attachment, and I click on the X, and there it goes. So guys, so hi there, guys. Um, so we shall now start looking at how we can go ahead and submit assignments you through Google Classroom on the use of a mob on a mobile phone. Okay. So first things first is that you'll have to make sure that the app is actually installed, and by app I mean the Google Classroom app. You can just go ahead and finish typing it up and then click on search. Once you search, it should be the first thing that comes up if you have searched with the words Google Classroom, okay? So you go ahead and click on it. If you haven't downloaded it, go ahead and download it. And once it's done, you'll see the two options there. So click open. Once you click open, it should, it should take you to this particular page of, um, you know, the, your Google Classroom. In case um, you're not seeing a particular class or you'd want to join a particular class, there's a plus sign at the top right of your screen. So you can just go ahead and click on it. Once you click on it, it'll, ask, it'll give you two options, join class or create class. So um, in my case, I'd want to go ahead and join class, which is also most likely the case for you. So go ahead and put in the code that you, your teacher has either given you, it could be anything. And then once that's done, you'll click on the join at the top. So I've already done that in my case. And um, you know we'll be taking a look through the class eight class, okay? So I'll go ahead and click on it. And once I do, it'll take me to the stream page, okay? This is whereby, you can see all forms of documents, announcements, assignments posted, um, you know, on your in your particular class. So um, I can see there's a new assignment called um, Jaribio Wiki 2. And um, I can just go ahead and click on it. And once I click on it, you'll see this particular um, attachment right over there. If you don't get to see an attachment in on your screen, um, at the same spot that I'm actually touching, which is, you know, you can see just below attachments, then it would most likely come under your work if a teacher has already gone ahead and made a copy for you, okay? So I'll go ahead and click on this. And once I do, I can see, um, you know, I'll go ahead and read the instructions. Jibu Maswali Yote Pasavio, a badili sentence, hizi katika kauli tarifa, ya. So once I'm, I'm able to understand what, what the teacher is exactly needing from me, I'll go ahead and click on all the various options. So in this case, I'd want to go ahead and click on the box at the top right of the screen whereby it shows open in Drive, right? So once I click on it, what will ha happen is that it will take me to my Drive account. Now, listen, if, if you've got different kinds of um, applications on you, this this that option might particularly change in this by what what I'm saying is this I've already downloaded Google Drive or rather my phone came with Google Drive. Now you could be there using WPS or you could be actually using um, what do we call it Microsoft Word. Either is okay, okay. So once once you get to see this, um, you see uh, whatever the teacher has posted and. What I would actually advise you, you know, to the best do, way to go about this is click on the three dots at the top right of your screen whereby you see more options. Once you click there, go ahead and, and, and click on share and export, okay? So um, you'll see the various options, send a copy, save as, make a copy, okay? So if you say make a copy, it'll ask you make a copy to where exactly. I'd, I'd advise you to go ahead and make a copy on your device because Google Drive might be a bit more complex on a mobile phone other than what it would be on uh, on a desktop, okay? So I'll click on save. And once that is there, um, I'll just go ahead and now, um, you know, key in whether what, what kind of document I'd want to, it to be saved as. I could just go ahead and say save and write there. So it, now you can see at the top of the screen, it's written saved on device, okay? So if that's the case, now you can usually go back to your phone where you, you know, you save things or rather where different things are downloaded. For me, it's usually in my files whereby I can go to downloads and then I'll see at the top right there is Kings Likimondo Jaribio La Kwanza, okay? So I can go ahead and open it. Now from here, I can use the different applications there are, okay? If it's Google Docs that I want to edit using, if it's Word or if it's WPS. So um, I can go ahead and just use Word. And um, you'll see um, this, this is exactly what I'll see. Um, you can see there's a pen. Now this time, instead of it being bottom right, it's actually at the top. I'll go ahead and click edit and go ahead and put in, you know, put in my answers, put in my answers. Um, 
I'll, I'll create some space there and continue putting the answers down there. Uh, okay. And then now once I'm done, I can click at the top, top left of the screen. You can see the tick here yeah? to signify that I am done. I'll do that. You know, in case I want to actually change the name of the document, I can if it didn't have my name. And once that is there, once that is done, you know, that simply will be, so I've saved on top of the copy that I made or rather that I downloaded to my phone, okay? So that means it's no longer on Google Drive. It's actually on my device, okay? So that will guide us now when we go back onto the Google Classroom. And now we'll go to your work. I'll click, I'll, you can see I've clicked the arrow that just is above your work. It'll slide up and, and show me this particular page. I'll say add attachment. And then instead of saying Google Drive or link, I'll actually click on file. So once I say file, it give me the, on, um, you know, the various documents there are, I could actually just go to the, to downloads. And once I click on downloads, I'll see my document just right over there. So I'll just click on that. And once I am done, I'll go ahead and say hand in. So hand in your work, your attachment will be submitted for Jaribio Wiki 2. I'll go ahead and say hand it in, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, that is simply how you can go ahead and, um, you know, um, publish or rather do your assignment using your phone. I'd advise you if, if, you're, if you already know how to go ahead and use Google Drive, go ahead and use Google Drive. However, you know, if you're more comfortable, you know, downloading it on your device, I would say that is the best way to go about it, all right? So with that one being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. And uh, if you're having any questions, you can always feel free to reach back out to your class coordinator or, you know, the, the administrators in a private WhatsApp group that you are in. God bless.